welcome again to our devotional series, Messages from Tiny People. Thank you for joining us. Today we are going to learn from uh, the book of Philemon, Philemon chapter 1, verse 11 and verse 21. And we are going to center our focus on a, na- a man named uh, Onismas, who was a slave of Philemon. This man was a slave to Philemon and it so happened that in their daily business he decides to rob his master and he runs away. And this Philemon was a church leader, a very well respected man, a man that was a good Christian. And as he runs away, in that time historians say that uh, if a slave would run away, the owner of the slave had the right to hunt him down and when he gets him he could kill him or he could put a stamp on his forehead written f for fugitive like we do to our cows to put a mark and so this man on his mouth runs away from his master philemon as he is running away he meets some guy who is a scribe to paul and at that time paul the apostle was in prison in rome so as he meets him maybe he was tired he decides to confide in him his story that he stole from his master and he's running away and I want to believe the scribe uh, had to talk to him, uh, spread the gospel to him. And as he does that, he takes him to Paul and he tells Paul about this situation. And as he narrates the situation to Paul, Paul then talks to this man, Onismas, to say, no, you have to go back to your master. I will write a letter to him so that he forgives you. And so we discover that uh, Onismas' heart is changed and he becomes a Christian and he accepts the gospel. I want to uh, talk to us on the aspect of freedom, how freedom impacts our lives and how freedom is important. And so as this man Onismas is uh, with Paul, he is given the assurance that I am writing a letter to your master Philemon that you have wronged, that he should forgive you and accept you. And you know, there's something so interesting about it because after that, because uh, uh, this man Onismas had become a Christian, he had repented. He believed in Paul's word that he should go back to his master and his master will forgive him. And so we are going to read from uh, Philemon chapter 1, verse 11 and verse 21. And okay, we can read from 10, which says, I beseech thee for my son Onismas, whom I have begotten in my bones which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me. And verse 21 says, Having confidence in thy obedience, I wrote unto thee, knowing that thou wilt also do more than I say. Now this man Onismas leaves his master as a slave, and not only a slave, but a fugitive. And what happens is, as he runs, he finds mercy of God waiting for him. In fact, I'm, I'm reminded of the man David who talks about God's mercy always following him, goodness and mercy always running after him and overtaking him. And I, I looking at this situation, I realize that no matter how much you run away from God, no matter how much you offend God, he will always find a way of finding you. He sends his goodness and mercy for this man on his mass. He runs away away from his master as a slave and he finds another slave to the gospel waiting for him to share the good news and Onismas accepts the word of God. Onismas lives as a slave but when he meets Christ he goes back as a son of Paul and he has the assurance that he's forgiven and you know I, I love the way Paul now talks to uh, Philemon to say I have confidence in your obedience When I am writing to you, I know that you are going to forgive this man and you are going to take him back. When the son sets you free, you are free indeed. This is what the Bible says. And so this man is forgiven by God and he has peace. He has freedom, not only from being a slave, but also from the bad things that he has done. He is going back to his master as a brother, as a son. And this is what the gospel of Christ does. When we uh, sin against God and when we run away from God, he calls us back and when we accept the gift of salvation he calls us his son and i also love the inter the, the the mediation of paul paul now stands as a mediator between onismas and philemon and this is what christ does he gives us that power when we allow christ to come in between us and god as we believe in christ the bible says to those that believe in christ he gives them power to be sons and daughters of God. This is the freedom that comes with repentance. When you repent and forsake your sin, you don't only, you 
are not only forgiven of your sin, but you have the chance and the power and the authority to become a child of God and you experience the goodness and the advantages of being a son. Onismas goes back to his master not only forgiven, but also having a promotion of being a brother and a son. I pray that this will be your prayer too, that as we move in this life, as we live and maybe we might have had uh, moved away from God, we take this time to accept the grace of God that waits in front of us and we make peace with God. Because when we make peace with God, we will find ourselves in God and we will find our identity as His sons. God bless you.